How's it guys? Welcome to my home studio. My name is Kelly and today I am sharing a new fountain pen. I'm super excited. This is one of my top favorite color combinations of pens. So without further ado, and it's not an old purchase. I got this on October the 16th, 2021 <laughs> from Cult Pens. And this is a huge box that it came in. And it has this freebie um, bookmarker. Do you believe that's Easter Brook? Yeah. So it has an Easter Brook bookmark. And it came with a bunch of stuff. And it has um, the catalog and whatnot. It came with this single pen holder. And I'm going to show you momentarily. We'll just keep it a little bit of a suspense <laughs> for a minute. I'm just going to put all this away. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this huge box, but... Um, anyway so there's that it came with cartridges and this little i put them in this bag because that's how i do um it came with five this has one six of them in here yeah but i kept the box to show you that's what it came in and it came with this little mechanism in this bag which now says Lamy on it and this is for the pen so you can completely dismantle everything don't mind my hands yes i have fountain pen ink on them that's okay so i'm just gonna stow all of these i don't need that right now together in here and then I keep these things right beside me in a drawer in one of these. This is where I have all my cartridges and everything. I don't think that's going to fit, but I'm just going to put it there for now and then deal with it later. I'm glad it came with this little sleeve because this will come in handy. Um, if you want to just throw it in your Delphonics pouch, it'll protect the pen. Okay, are you ready? I'm sure you know, because not all fountain Lamy fountain pens come with that little wrench screw thing. So, I'm sure you already know. But this is the Lamy Dialogue CC fountain pen in white and rose gold with an extra fine nib. So there it is. Beautiful, right? It's so well made that I just couldn't say no. It's beautiful. I love um, this color combination, the white with the rose gold. So it has rose gold right here with the name on it. And then it has the bottom finial like that with rose gold. And on top, there's a little puka, sort of rubberized in that section. But right beneath that, you can see um, that it has a little rose gold cover. So this is supposed to keep it so, ta-da, your fountain pen does not dry out. And then it reveals the nib. Is that not the neatest thing ever? I thought that was so clever. This is so well designed. Because I think this is the third iteration of this sort of pen. But, and it's just, let me do it again. A little, you turn it, and there you have it. Turn it again, and then that part closes up. So I think that's really neat. And then three, 
You turn it three more times and this whole piece will come out. So I suppose you could, um, no, you have to unscrew this. I thought maybe you could fill it with it on there, but that would get really messy, I would imagine. So there is the design. So you can take it out. It came with a Lamy um, converter. And I've already processed this. I washed it and everything. And then you take that other piece that I showed you. And what does it do exactly? I think it just, let's see. I can show you. I tried it. goes on here yeah and then I think that goes in there oh so you can just So it fits on there. Does it fit on here? No, it doesn't fit on that side. I think it's so you can open this. Yeah, there it goes. It's opening. So you can open and close that without this pen, um, part of the pen being in there. As you can see, it's I got it open. So... Anyway, there's that little bit. So I am deciding between two inks and I'm just not sure which one I want. Um, they're both diamine, no surprise there. One is ancient copper and one is autumn oak. So I thought I would look and see in my log here which one I filled up with last, if at all, because they're actually new. I've already swatched them. Oh, okay. Let's see, Diatramentis, Arabin. That's Fire Embers. Ackerman, 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 Speedball. Arabin, Arabin, Arabin. Oh, maybe I haven't used them yet. Either one. Yeah, here. Here it is. Okay, I did. But it was way back in August. Because I put the dates on there. So that's what they look like. Ancient copper and autumn oak. They're vo very beautiful, but I think I am leaning towards the ancient copper because this really is copper. Rose gold copper, as you like. Um... So I think we'll do that. Sometimes it's just hard to decide which one you want, right? Okay. So. There is my ink. So I haven't used it since August. So I want to give it a good mixing I 
This really is a beautiful color any time of year. With any pen. <laughs> And I did a full filling and I usually don't do that but this color is so beautiful and I think I'm really gonna like this nib so I went ahead yeah it's extra fine I was just looking at my invoice just to double check. But I want to say this is a gold nib, even though it appears silver. It's like a mixture. Yeah, because my favorite are the vintage nibs. They're just so soft, and bouncy when you write. And you absolutely can feel that when you're writing. It's <laughs> so... Um, but I'm going to show a close-up of the nib. I just want to clean it off a little because the fountain pen body is predominantly white and it will stain, I'm sure. So, beautiful, right? It got in the treads, too. And I really don't want ink all over my pen. I suppose I could have just taken the actual converter and dipped it in there. But then I'd have to like burp it for it to go in, into the nib, right? Not just burp the nib, but you know. And that's a lot of fuss, I think. In any event... We'll get to it. So, ancient copper. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it goes in like that. That's and I have it open so I've seen a video where a gal was struggling the way I am because if you don't you have to play around with it, right, in order to see. Because it twists like that, but it also twists to close it, but then to take the whole piece off, right? Like this. Clockwise to get it on. And to reveal the nib itself, right? Counterclockwise closes it. And it's like a twist and then another slight twist and you can actually feel that so a twist and another twist to close it and the same goes to open it okay so there it is so it does fit nicely in this sleeve i do believe i want to say this is a leather sleeve so Yeah, so you can fully immerse it in there like that and really, really protect it. And then these two have a slit on either side so you can pull it back out very easily. So I'm going to keep this very handy, I think. Um, 
so I can use that. So in case you're new here, this is what I house my um, logbooks in just for what's inked up and if I get a new pen. When I get a new pen, I like to ink it up and I like to record the first time I've inked it up. So this is my Loich. I have three notebooks. This is my Loich term 1917. Then I have a Taroko Shop Enigma, which is 68 GSM Tomoe River paper. And then I have a Hobonichi notebook, which is 52 GSM Tomoe River paper, which is my favorite. So, okay, so um, I hope I explained that and showed the pen nicely for you. There, I'm sure, are a lot of videos. I've just watched the one from that gal. I can't remember, recall her name. So, um, but anyway, I'm gonna fill it, and then I will catch you guys on the other side. Okay, so I filled it up. This must be a gold nib because um, otherwise the price point on the pen couldn't be validated in my humble opinion. Um, and this nib writes beautifully. I really like it. Um, so it's a nice, nice writing experience. Um, so let's take a look at the ink guys. This one's smudged. Oh well. So I was able to get a close-up um, hyper-exposed shot of the um, writing and show you that nib really well. Okay, so there it is. The ink is lovely. The pen wrote like a dream. No catching whatsoever, so the feedback was very, very minimal um, in my Loich term. Um, there is slight bleed through right here, as you can see, and ghosting in the Loich term. But overall, smooth. And that is the least smooth of all the papers that I have. Then um, I have my Taroko Shop Enigma. Very lovely. Very smooth indeed. And the ink shows up nicely. And no bleed through on this paper. Ghosting. 
but no bleed through. And then my favorite paper, the 52 GSM Tomoe River paper. <sighs> very nice. Very, very smooth. No bleed through, guys. Ghosting, yes, but no bleed through. So this pen is beautiful. It writes very, very smooth. Um, I wasn't going to get it, and then I just kept looking at it and looking at it, and I'm glad I did. This is a very, very nice pen, and that twisting motion and then closing that. So I'm going to see if it does dry out because I filled this pen all the way up. I'm going to use it. I'm not just going to leave it sit, um, but we'll see if my pen ever dries up. I hope it does not, but um, only time, the test of time will tell, really. Now, I was on the market for a clicker pen, such as the um, Vanishing Point, the Curry Das. I've had that in my cart and out of my cart so for so long. I'm just going to... I had decided just to pass on it because it's an... In, I mean, it's a relatively inexpensive pen, but it does dry out because I watched several videos about it. So, you know, um, I don't... I think that's a hassle. So this one twists, so there's no on and off of the cap. It's not as convenient as a clicker but it's a sure beauty and dream to write with. And just twisting it like that isn't much. So I'm okay with that. So that is my video. I hope you liked it. Um, if you're on the fence about it, it really is a fun pen to write with. Um, I like it a lot. So those are my thoughts on it. All right, guys, thank you ever so kindly for watching. If you liked what you saw, feel free to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I wish you all a beautiful day. Bye-bye.